Hello, friends. Welcome back. Um, go ahead and give me a shout if you can on the, in the comments over there, if you can see me. And we'll get started here in just a couple minutes. Uh, today's music, you can look down below, is by Greg Ruby and Jen Hodge. They're both albums that have come out in the last week and a half, so I recommend checking them out. Um, we want to kind of listen to all of uh, their music today, obviously, but there's some great stuff on there. Um, you'll notice the bass playing sounds similar on both albums. That's because it's Jen on Greg's and Jen on Jen's, and that's pretty awesome. Uh, I'm assuming we'll start a little bit, uh, or we'll have some folks trickle in a little bit late because there's a really cool event going on over at um, uh, Move On. If you look up Move On on Facebook events, if you're a swing dancer, I'm sure it'll pop up. Um, there's a bunch of chat about where we're taking our scene in regards to the Black Lives Matter movement and uh, things like that. So um, that'll be, uh, it's a live stream through Facebook, so it'll be a recording that you can check out later in the day too. So once we're done here, um, I recommend bouncing over to that and hopefully I'll remember to remind folks uh, shortly. Um, just going to tune in with uh, the comments here and make sure things are working. Looks like we are go. Don't want to lose you all, so I'm going to check in a bunch and make sure things are actually going here. All right. That's cool. I see Alora. That's great. <laughs> um, Looks like it might be on the wrong video, though. Sorry for the wait here. I'm going to put on some music while I troubleshoot. I just want to make sure I don't lose everyone again. Let's do some Greg Ruby. started here in just a second. Um, like I was saying a second ago, um, before I made everything successfully public, there is a, uh, an event going on on Facebook Live that's just wrapping up right now um, called Move On. I recommend checking out the recording of that if you missed it. Um, it's a really cool chat about how the swing dance scene is um, able to move forward and hoping to move forward in uh, the perspective of the Black Lives Matter movement and all that going on. So uh, check that out after we're done here. Happy Saturday to you too, Katie. Um, we're going to get started here in just a second, but I'll give folks about one more minute to jump on over from the other conversations so we don't miss them. Uh, today's music is by Greg Ruby and Jen Hodge. Uh, the Greg Ruby recording also has Jen in the background, like this. But, uh, but uh, they both put out albums in the last week and a half, so I recommend checking the links and grabbing those to support them. Um, they're both great band leaders and that they distribute the money from their CDs among the musicians that are in the band. So it's not just like the musician got paid once and then that's it. They actually get paid off of the individual CDs. Uh, okay. Um, so it looks like they're taking the, uh, the conversation a little bit um, longer. So we're going to go ahead and get started and folks can tune in after on this one. I don't want to um, delay you all too much, but I also don't want to... Uh, take folks away from there so they can catch the recording of this and you can catch the recording of that and all will be good. Uh, so we're going to start off with some more Greg Ruby. We're going to do just a little swing, uh, which we've warmed up to before, but I like it, so we're doing it again. Um, today's songs are a little bit up-tempo. 
So they're going to um, involve a couple of things. One of them is make sure your core stays a little bit active all the time. Another one is make sure you really focus on that quarter note pulse all the time. And uh, between those two things, you'll be just fine. I'm going to start us off with Just a Little Swing, which is the name of the song and what it is by Greg Ruby. So hit your fingers on the ceiling, turning around, because that's what I do. Um, cool. So we're doing a bit of a uh, choreography to Jen Hodge's earthquake drill, which is now a week old. Um, I tried to record that last week and failed to make the video work. Um, so I've re revamped the choreo a little bit, and we're going to do it today. 
Uh, I am going to start the song at about 10% slower than the actual recording because I like you. Um, the steps aren't particularly complicated, but with speed, things can get a little weird. So um, we're going to start off with a couple of uh, really basic things. If you are a swing dancer, you already know how to do swing Charleston probably. I'm going to be specific about a couple of details. Let's get so you can see my feet. Uh, but mostly we're just going to flip through that really fast. Um, if you look through our YouTube channel, we already break that down elsewhere. So starting with your weight on your right foot for now, we're going to do the, the left side first. This is the side normally a leader would do in Lindy Hop or um, in Tandem Charleston, everyone would do. Um, so we're starting with that rock step. So we go rock step to the left. And I want it to be kind of a jogging rock step. So I want to get a little bit low to start with because it is going to be a little bit brisk. So rock step. And then we're going to do a kick step onto that left foot, keeping it pretty much right underneath us. When we do that, though, we're going to hop on our right foot during the kick and then step onto that left foot. So our whole thing so far goes rock, step, kick, step. And you should hear on the floor, tick, 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 tick. There's a sound for every beat. So five, six, seven, eight. Rock, step, kick, step. Now we're going to swing that right foot forward, tuck it in, kick it up, mostly back, kind of to the side, and then step onto it underneath us. So we have five, six, seven, eight. And while we're doing that, we're making four hopping sounds with our left foot. So it goes hop, 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 hop. Or three of the left and one as we transfer it to the right. So our whole thing looks like this. Rock, step, kick, step, kick, tuck, kick, step. The reason I'm choosing to go to the side a little bit on that, you can go straight back. Um, I've been watching a lot of Al Mins, for one. Um, he's a brilliant, brilliant dancer from the 1930s, 40s, 50s, and 60s. Um, and when he does his Charleston, he goes for audience appeal. Um, when you kick behind you, your leg kind of disappears. So if you're at an angle, that can be great. Uh, but for straight on, which is what we're doing in this choreography, I like to go a little bit out to the side so my audience can see what I'm doing. So let's do one left side Charleston basic. This is swing Charleston is what we call it um, at our studio because there's like the 20s Charleston, there's swing Charleston, there's a bunch of different things. So left side swing Charleston, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If you want words for that, it goes five, six, seven, eight, rock, step, kick, step, kick, tuck, kick, step. Or sometimes I might say double kick, step on that other side, the syllables work, double kick, step. From there, we're going to get a little bit weird. We're going to steal a little bit more from Al because my heart. Um, we're starting the same way. We do rock, step, kick, but we're going to cross. Uh, and we're taking that left foot across in front of us. When I do that, I'm turning my heels in, which brings my toes out. So it's not ballet where I bring my toes open and that's what drives it. I'm low and I bring my heels in. Um, so it ends up being the same shape, but it's coming from a different intention a little bit. So feel it. So I've got rock, step, kick, cross. And then my weight goes onto my left foot. And I'm going to walk open with my heels open, close, open. I'm going to just practice this a little bit. Close, open, close, open, close. So it's like an inverted Susie cue. This is how Alan Leon would exit the Alan Leon version of Tomb Sham. You can see a whole group of uh, finely dressed folks doing it in the spirit moves, if you look that up on YouTube, too. Uh, when they go off stage, they have this sort of cool line walk thing that they do. Uh, but we're doing it from rock, step, kick, cross, five, six, seven, eight. On eight, we want to make sure that weight goes onto your left foot, because we're going to do the whole thing backward. So we're switching over to the right side of Swing Charleston. So let's break that down real quick. Rock step, with that jogging rock step. We have a bounce and a kick, and a step. Then we have the left foot going front, in, side, down. So just that Charleston basic goes five, six, seven, eight. Rock, step, kick, step, front, in, side, down. And that means we can do three eights in a row. We have a basic on the left. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Rock, step, kick, step, double, kick, step. Let's just do that all together. Five, a six, 
a five, six, seven, and a rock step, kick, step, double kick, and a rock step, kick, cross, walk, six, seven, eight, rock step, kick, step, double kick, step. And then we're gonna do the same variation on the other side. So we start with the rock step kick with the right foot. We cross that one over, pull our heels in, and we do our walk to the left this time on the same counts. So we have five, six, seven, eight, it's just walking over to the side. So let's do basic, walking, basic, walking. Starting on the left side, five, six, five, six, seven, and basic kick. Double kick step, rock step, kick, cross block, six, seven, eight, basic kick, double kick step, walk step, kick, cross, five, six, seven, eight. And again, you should have ended up on your right foot since we're doing the opposite side. So we're ready for the next rock step on the left, which is what's coming next. If that makes sense, awesome, we're going to plow ahead. If not, give me some comments over there uh, and I will do my best to clear it up. Here's what we're dancing to. <laughs> my challenge for you, if you really just feel like, you know what, today's too easy, I need something extra to hurt my brain, try and count the intro to this uh, that Jen does, because she's kind of brilliant and it's weird. And that's where we are so far. So I'm gonna slow it down about 10% for us, for survival's sake, we got a long hour ahead of us. And then let's run the whole thing with music. Um, the easiest way to count it in for you that I'm gonna do for now is when the bass speeds up and goes to the quarter notes, just bum, 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 bum. Um, that's where, you can count that as one, and then it'll fall into place. I'll show you what I mean in a second, but don't worry too much about those open, that opening section. Um, Jen's messing with us in the most beautiful way. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, yeah. Let's do that again. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Cool. So uh, assuming that's going perfectly, we're going to run it a bunch of times. So if it's not, don't worry. Uh, we're going to plow ahead a little bit. We have one more basic swing Charleston on that left side because uh, the music's doing repetition, so we get to as well. Uh, and then our little break afterward is a bit different. So we did left side, we did right side, we did left side again. Five, six, seven, eight. We start like we're going to do a normal bit Charleston again. Rock, step. We're going to come up on the kick, so we're actually lifting. Like you like a long line from your shoulders, like you're reaching up toward both walls. And let your arms come down because a pretty strong, framey shape. I'm going to go like someone's lifted that and then dropped me on three, four. So if I'm facing you, that it would go rock, step, up, down. And I'm doing that in a couple of ways. One of those I'm them is I'm lifting from my glute and my hamstring on my right leg. Another one is I'm actually coming a little bit up using my calf muscles on that toe. But a big one is the change in shape I make to my torso. So I'm not just going up, down. I'm going, oh, oh, oh. So I sort of inflate on the, on the three and deflate on the four. So we'll go one, two, oh, ah. Um, so let's try that. We have one Charleston basic on the left side, and then rock, step, kick, step. Five, six, five, six, seven, and basic, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Rock, step, oops, down. Cool. Um, I'm going to let you style that however you want. If you have time, I might come back and give you some more saucy flavors on that one. But for now, let's just do that. Um, then we're going to pause for just a beat, 
and then do a badum badum, which is like my most oft used, I think, rhythm in my own improv dancing is kada kada. So we have rock, step, kick, step, bada bada. One, two, three, four, a six, a seven. Five, six, five, six, here we go. Rock, step, kick, step, bada bada. And that's right, left, right, left. And I wanted to feel a little bit aggressive toward your audience here. So I've gone, ah, uh, yeah. And I'm scooting myself forward. The way to make sure that happens is to gather your right foot in on the first ba of the badu badu. Badu, badu. So I'm, it's like I'm sword fighting. I'm bringing my back foot forward and then putting my front foot in front of me. Uh, so let's do one Charleston basic on the left side. And then our badu badu. Five, six. Five, six, seven, and basic kick, double kick, and rock steps up, down, buddy, buddy. I'm going to stay on that left foot, so be careful you don't accidentally settle onto your right afterward. Once we've gone right, left, right, left, I'm going to take my count eight. I'm going to keep my pulse there. So I'm still going to go, uh, but I'm not going to switch weight. So see if you can see that. Rock, step, up, down, buddy, buddy, and... So I have one extra little bounce of my butt going down on count eight, but I'm staying on my left foot. Because the next thing we're doing is that Charleston basic on the right side. So let's just try this little clump so far. We have a basic on the left, up, down, ba-doo, ba-doo, and then a basic on the right. Five, six, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, here we go. One, two, up, down, ba-doo, ba-doo, and rock, step, kick. Double kick step. One more time, same thing. Five, six, five, six, seven, and basic kick. Double kick step. Rock step up, down. Badu, badu. And rock step, kick. Double kick step. Kill. Looks like there are not more questions yet, so I'm going to keep going. We have one more eight count in this little uh, phrase, and then we'll be able to run the whole thing with music. So we just did a right side basic. Rock step just like normal, but I'm going to take it a little bit further out to the side because I'm going to cross over my right foot over my left in a second, and it's helpful at speed if I have a little bit of a push off going that way. Not mandatory, but helpful, so let yourself be a little efficient here. Um, so you have rock, step, kick, cross. When I do that cross, I'm dropping pretty low to the ground, but I'm keeping the tone of my body. So this one's not a relax, this is a ready to pounce. Um, because I'm going to use the pressure that my right foot now has on the floor to push me up off of the floor. So I'm going to drive from the floor where my right foot is through my back left butt cheek and make that thing work. So we have rock, step, kick, prepare, scoot, step. One, two, three, four. Uh, and then we're going to do a quick ball change. So we have a scoot ball change in the same rhythm that we would normally have a kick ball change. So we have one, two, three, four, five, and six. Um, that's basically me falling forward onto my right foot again. So my body position actually makes this work for me when it gets fast. As I've kicked around and I came down, I've got this hiked shape in my body right now. I'm not going to come back onto my left foot where my body comes up. Because then it's hard for me to get back over my right. I'm going to keep myself further forward. Rock, step, kick, cross, scoot, ball, change. I stay in that shape, and that makes it really easy to get my weight onto that right foot. It does mean that the ball part of the ball change doesn't get all of your weight. And it's just a sound you make as you're falling forward. Uh, so we have one basic on the right. Rock, step, kick, step. Double, kick, step. Rock, step. Kick, cross, scoot, ball change. Then we're just going to take that left foot and stomp in front of us. So this is our rock, step, kick, cross, scoot, ball change, stomp. There's going to be a little moment to, be, to stare down your audience. Do make sure that your weight is all the way on there because you're going to need your right foot to be flexible in just a minute. Not flexible, but available in just a minute. Um, so let's do the right side, basic. And then our rock, step, kick, cross, scoot, ball change, land. And we'll see how it goes. Uh, type up your questions if you got. Five, six, five, six, seven, eight. 
five, six, seven, and basic kick step. Double, here we go. Rock, step, kick, cross, scoot, ball change, land. One more time. Five, six, five, six, seven, and basic kick. Double kick and rock, step, kick, cross, scoot, ball change, land. If that's too easy for you and you want some arms to add to it, um, I'm going in opposition with my upper body the entire time. So there's nothing too crazy, uh, but use your arms for balance. If your elbows are sucked into your sides, uh, like we talked to some of you about last night at technique class, it's hard to feel what the natural flow of things is. So I want to stick a couple of oranges under my armpits if I can. So I have a little bit of float to that, letting myself broaden in the shoulders. Uh, and that helps me know what I need to do to balance. From here, you can kind of get away with anything. You can't do anything powerful. From here, if you do it wrong, it feels real wrong. But if you do it right, you get some extra power. So I want to have that little bit of float to my arms. Make sure your elbows aren't too far in front of you. I like to keep mine in this little window of homeness. Um, basically, if you drop your arms and did shoulder rolls, wherever your elbows go in that is a great place to have as your default home position um, as far as forward and back goes. You can go out of there, obviously, and will, but that's kind of a good home spot. So when we do this, rock, step, kick, cross, I'm bringing myself around in opposition, and then I can open my arms to stretch with the scoot if I want to. Okay, this is easy my arms. Rock, step, kick, cross, scoot, ball change. I'm going to keep that sort of swimming motion going. And as I land with my left foot, my right, right side comes forward. And that lets me balance the whole thing. And that twist is happening from the lower part of my abs. If you're working on the rhythms and that's a lot for you right now, just do that. You can come back to this video later and get the arms. But if you got extra brain space for the arms, get them in there right away. Uh, so that last bit, right side basic, and then our swoopy doopy part goes five, six, five, six, basic. Rock, step, kick, step, double, kick, step, rock, step, kick, cross, scoot, ball change, down. All right, let's put it with music from the top, remembering that we go left, right, left, right on our basics. We have twice through with the walking, and then we have once with the up, down, ba -doo, ba -doo, and then we have once with the scoot ball change land. So walk, walk, pause, scoot ball change land. May the force be with you. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let me know if you in the comments if you have any questions. Um, we'll come back and review those for sure. Uh, if you would like um, to have more context for any of these moves, that's a great thing to put in there too. I may get toward those type of questions that aren't like, how do I do it, but are more like, where's it from, toward the end of the video. Um, but for now, we're going to go on to a straight stolen move. This is one of my favorite parts of Norma Miller's trickeration routine. Um, it starts with the corkscrew, which we've worked on a few times in the past couple of weeks. Uh, and then it's going to move on to a, a couple of sort of Broadway feeling moves. So we're going to take that. We just went um, scoot, ball change, land. Your weight's on your left foot. We're going to take your right foot across to 45 degrees toward the left side. Dig your heel into the ground. Pick, both my feet are still parallel with each other. I'm going to pick up my left knee and kind of partially balance on my right heel as I pivot about 90 degrees. So I go cork, screw. And I step down on my left foot once I've pivoted. So that's one, two. 
really important that A, we're on our left foot by count two, and B, our left leg isn't locked. It's got some spring to it, because that's what's gonna be maintaining our bounce while we go into the next bit. So let's try that all together, just a corkscrew. You're on your left foot, and we go five, six, seven, eight, corkscrew, bounce, bounce. Same thing, but keep that bounce going after. Five, six, seven, eight, corkscrew, bounce, bounce. Five, six, seven, eight, corkscrew, bounce, bounce. The bounce is super important because one of the moves that is most common for Lindy Hoppers to lose their pulse in is a kickball change, and that is in fact the move that comes next. So a lot of times we'll be going, yeah, rock, step, trip, full step, kickball change, trip, full step, and it gets real flat there. On the kickball change, I want to make sure that during the kick, I go down, and on the change, I go down. So down and down on my kickball changes. Let's try that a few times. You should try both sides. We're running low on time, so I'm just gonna do the right one for now. We go kick, ball, change. Down and down. Down and down. Down and down. Kick, ball, change. Kick, ball, change. Kick, ball, change. Down and down. Down and down. Down and down. Down and down. So we have corkscrew, kickball change. Sounds a lot like your basic Lindy Hop steps, right? Rock, step, triple step, corkscrew, kickball change. So we're keeping that same rhythm. It goes one, two, three, and four. On our ball change, we're gonna cross over our other foot. That means I need to preempt that a little bit by moving my body to the right so that I fall onto my left foot over there. So watch for that, corkscrew, kick, ball, change. So I'm bringing my body over right after that kick pulse. So to go down and down. On that up, I'm actually moving my body to the right. Five, six, seven, eight. Cork, screw, down and down. Now we're gonna push off that left leg, so it's really important we have momentum this way. Slide. And I wanna never quite arrive with this foot. As soon as you get to here, it's boring. But if I'm here, you're like, what's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? So anytime you're doing something that's syrupy, draggy, slidey, it's really nice if you just don't finish that movement all the way. Um, so I had cork, screw, kick, ball, change. I'm gonna do a quick tap here, if you've got the time for it, and then slide over here. So for me, the way I like to do that, it goes one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, eight, and that tap is nice, but just make sure we don't lose our pulse. Um, I want to intentionally lose my pulse, shrink my pulse on um, six, seven, eight, as I'm doing the slide, to draw focus to the, the fact that it's different. Six, seven, eight. It's still going on in my heart, and if you look really closely, you might see me doing a little bit of a pulse, but I definitely intensified the movement by shrinking the pulse. So we have cork, screw, kick, ball change, touch, slide, seven, eight. Five, six, five, six, seven, eight. Cork, screw, kick, ball, change, touch, slide, seven, eight. We're gonna get a little bit weird. This is where we deviate from Norma's thing. Uh, that was all straight Norma Miller for you. Cork, screw, kick, ball, change, touch, slide. Then we're gonna bring ourselves around 180 degrees at the very end of that slide. So cork, screw, kick, ball, change, touch, slide, seven, eight. Then we're gonna do crawls, so that's your heels and your toes. One, three, five, six. Um, I actually haven't decided which way I like to rotate at the end of this Cork Screw Kick Ball Change Touch Slide thing. So if you rotate clockwise or counterclockwise and you like that one more, great. If I was putting out a big group of people, I could see you all do it, and then I would know, but for now, I'm still experimenting. Feel free to experiment along with me. So Cork Screw Kick Ball Change Touch Slide or slide, I don't mind which way you go. So see what feels natural for you. Then we have slow, slow, quick, quick on the crawls. Slow, slow, quick, quick. By that last quick, I need to be on my right foot because things are about to get crazy. So I'm gonna be low and in that right leg. Now we're definitely gonna turn counterclockwise over my left shoulder uh, with a kick step. So we had slow, slow, Quick, quick, kick, step to face our audience again. So we're shaking our butt at them for one eight count, that's all they get. Then they go to the face again. 
So this whole section so far, it's a little bridge. It goes cork, screw, kick, ball change, touch, slide, stab, and it. Slow, slow, quick, quick, kick, step. And we should be balanced really athletically on our left foot. So let's just try that bridge. We go five, six, five, six, seven, eight. Corkscrew, kick, ball change, touch, slide, seven, eight. Slow, slow, quick, quick, kick, step. Again, five, six, five, six, seven, eight. Corkscrew, kick, ball change, touch, slide, seven, and slow, slow. Quick, quick, kick, step. A couple things that are really helpful for me. One is my face and one is my right arm. As I'm coming around for that kick step, once I'm here, I'm using my right arm and my torso to bring myself around, and I'm looking at my audience on seven, so that I have count eight to let my body catch up to my head. So I've gone slow, slow, quick, quick, kick, step, and I've already locked on to my next picture of Alan Leon here. Um, by count seven when I do that kick. So let's try that bridge one more time, and then we're gonna try and attach it to the piece before it. Five, six, a five, six, here we go. Corkscrew, kick, ball change, touch, slide, seven, and slow, slow. Quick, quick, kick, step. All right, so let's go back two eight counts. So we have a right side swing Charleston, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then we have our rock, step, kick, cross, shoot, pazoo, ah. We have one beat, because that's landed on seven, eight. We go into our corkscrew, corkscrew, kick, we'll change, touch, slide, slow, slow, quick, quick, kick, step. So, starting with the right side, Charleston. Five, six, five, six, seven, and rock, step, kick, step, double, kick, step, rock, step, kick, cross, shoot, we'll change, step. Corkscrew, kick, ball change, touch, slide, and one, three, five, six, kick, step. Once more with feelings. Five, six, five, six, here we go. Rock, step, kick, step, double, kick, rock, step, kick, cross, shoot, ball change, land, and corkscrew, kick, ball change, touch, slide, slow, slow, quick, quick, kick, step. All right. Take a moment, type those in if you need to, if you have questions. Um, we're now uh, getting near the end of our time, and we have a lot of routine left, so I'm going to keep plowing ahead. Um, the nice thing is this uh, chorus is structured the same as the last one. We do a basic and a variation, and a basic and a variation. So that basic, I'm going to keep really vanilla right now, but I recommend looking up old-timer footage of it. Big Apple Contest is, again, a great place to do that. It's called Jump Charleston. I'm gonna kick my right foot. I'm gonna step onto my right foot. So one, three. I'm gonna step onto my left. Five, ball change. So it's kick, step, step, ball change. Kick, step, step, ball change. Again, with that ball change, I wanna be in this posture. So it starts to bring me forward. So I can get one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, eight. Um, I'm gonna do it a little bit more athletically than I just showed you, but for now, if you wanna go kick, step, step, ball change, that will give you the basic move, and then you can season to taste later. So, jump Charleston, five, six, five, six, seven, eight, one, three, five, let's go. Let's, let's add on one more thing, because you already know this part. Yeah, this is your basic Shim Sham T.O.B.A. break from the Theater of Black Artists uh, vaudeville circuit. Um, you're gonna step on eight. For us, we're gonna get low again. We're gonna really get athletically low on that. Step, touch, step, pop, step, pop. So that's step, touch, step, pop, step, pop. The rhythm on it's a little bit funky because Eight, one, two, hop, hop, hop. Step, touch, step, hop, step, hop. Five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, and up. Five, six, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, and up. Now you walk three times, so it gets easy all of a sudden. We got ha, you, da, you, da, you, step, step, step. Um, there's a million ways to do this. There's an out-in slide that came a little bit later in history. 
there's the walk walks, there's some actual tap sounds that you can put in if you know what you're doing that way. But the, the basic gist of it is that we're gonna go aggressively forward and then prepare ourselves for the next jump Charleston. So you have jump Charleston, TLBA break, jump Charleston. May the force be with you. Five, six, five, six, seven, eight. Kick, step, step, ball change. Eight, one, two, three, and a walk, 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 and kick. Step, step, ball change. Again, five, six, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, a seven, eight, one, two, three, and a five, six, seven, eight, one, three, five, a seven. So it comes at you pretty fast. Um, most of the time so far, we've been starting everything on one. This TOBA break starts on eight. So you've got a flow from that ball change at the end of your jump, Charleston, right into that drop in front. And I'm going to use that touch after my drop on eight, one, as kind of a cartoon wind up to get me to go back. So I really need to be athletically in that right leg. Same thing one more time. Jump Charleston, TOBA break, jump Charleston. Five, six, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Eight, one, two, three, and a five, six, seven. I forgot to do the last jump Charleston. Let's do it one more time for me. Five, six, Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, and seven, eight. One, two, three, and a five, six, seven, eight. One, three, five, a seven. Cool. I'm assuming that's perfect so far because you're all amazing. Um, we're gonna jump over and uh, and add on the next little bit. If you do have questions, remember there is a comment section right there, and I will come back to them at the end uh, if we need to. Um, we're gonna speed up our rhythms a little bit. So we're gonna make them a little bit more dense. For some of us, it'll be easier because we're going more Lindy Hoppy. Uh, we've got some triple steps in there. For some of us, it'll be harder because it's faster. And the rhythm's a little bit weird. Um, so we went one, three, five, and seven. On um, the first time, we were down on eight. This time, we're going to wait on eight, and we're going to triple step that way toward our corner on one and two. And we're going to take one step on three. We're going to do a triple step on four and five. And this feels a little bit weird for Lindy Hoppers because we're not used to triple stepping on even numbers. But we're just going back, back, front on that four and five. So watch that together. It goes triple step, step, triple step. Five, six, seven, eight. Triple step, step, triple step. Five, six, seven, eight. One and two, three, four, and five. Then it's going to be the simple grapevine that you learned in first grade. We've just gone one and two, three, four, and five. We step to the side, behind, and the side, and we're back to home. So just side, back, side, just alternate your feet. So we have triple step that way, five, six, seven, eight. Triple step, step, triple step, step, back, step. Five, six, seven, eight. Triple step, step. Triple step, step, back, step. Five, six, seven, eight. Triple step, step. Triple step, step, back, step. If you want to put a little twist on that back step, that's totally fine. I'm not going to mess with it right now because we're running low on minutes, but season to taste, as we said before. Um, so we have jump Charleston. Jim Sham break. Jump Charleston. Triple step, step, triple step, 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 step. Let's try that all together. Five, six, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, and seven, eight. One, two, three, and a five, six, seven, eight. One, three, five, and seven. Triple step, step, triple step, step, cross step. Once more with feelings. Five, six, five, six, seven, eight. One, two. Three, four, five, and seven, eight. One, two, three, and a five, six, seven, eight. One, three, five, and seven. Triple step, step, triple step, step, cross step. If that feels really fast, it's because it is. Practice it slow and work your way up. It'll teach you all sorts of cool things about how your body moves. Um, we're going to change the game a little bit. We're not doing jump Charleston on this one. We're doing your very, very basic 20s Charleston. Kick, step touch, step. 
Style it however you want. There's a million ways to do it. If you were in our technique class this week, you have several already in your pocket from yesterday. Um, but kick, step, touch, step um, is the fundamental bit. If you want to be really fancy, you can pull your heels together on the odd numbers. One, three, five, seven, or kick across. But play with that on your own time. Um, we did jump Charleston, shim sham break, jump Charleston, triple step break, jump Charleston, or uh, 20 Charleston, and now we're going to go kind of slow it down for a second. We start with another 20 Charleston, kick, touch, we don't do the step on this one, boogie drop. So that's one, three, five, six, seven. And you'll hear the music tells us to do that, so that's why we're doing it. Um, so we had triple step, step, triple step, step, back, and 20s. Three, five, seven, kick, touch, boogie, drop. One, three, five, six, seven. So let's just try that part. Just the 20 Charleston into the boogie drop. Five, six, five, six, seven, eight. Kick, step, touch, step, kick, touch, boogie, drop. Let's uh, put it all together. So we've got this whole chorus so far. Jump Charleston, shim sham break. Jump Charleston, triple step break, 20s Charleston, boogie drop break. Five, six, five, six, seven, and one, three, five, a seven, eight, one, two, three, and a five, six, seven, eight, one, three, five, and seven, triple step, step, triple step, 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 and 20s. Three, five, seven, one, touch, boogie drop. That touch is probably one of the harder parts of the routine because you're just so used to 20s Charleston committing your weight there. Unless the whole step is new to you, in which case, more power to you. You don't have any weird habits. Um, we're going to do one more 2-8 clump, and then we'll try the whole thing with music. This is going to go right back to our jump Charleston, so exactly like we did before, or with whatever styling you want to put on this version once you've practiced it a bit. Uh, so we just finished our boogie drop. Um, this puts us on the wrong foot for Jump Charleston, so we're going to take one step back on our left. You can choose to do this on count eight, which is probably what I will do most of the time, or you could choose if you want to to wait five, six, seven, and one, and jump onto it during the, the first kick. I think that's really difficult, but it might be cool, so feel free to push yourself if you're feeling like it's easy so far. Um, so we had five, six, seven, eight, one three, five, and seven. Now we're going to do a fall off the log, which is just a kick, but I'm falling back onto my back foot. So it's less about hi -ya and more about like I'm getting pulled backward by my belt loop onto my left foot. I'm going to be rotating a little bit. This is to my left, so counterclockwise. Eight, one, two. So fall off the fall off the. Now we're going to do pivot turn or paddle turns. So I'm going to stay like my left foot has been nailed down to the floor and my right foot is going to scoot me around the room a little bit. And we're doing about a quarter turn per touch. I recommend taking your upper body and making it quiet somehow. That could be getting fabulous. That could be getting like, like drama. We could be doing just like holding things in place. You can put your thumbs in your suspenders. You can make whatever else you need to do. I don't know where. Um, but we have eight, one, two, three, five, seven. So just that fall off the log starts with hopping on your left, stepping behind, stepping in place underneath you, and then we're going to touch to stage left over there with the our right foot, and then back, and then to the side. So just the fall off the log starting on eight, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three. Five, seven. Uh, I like that bit because it goes from even numbers on the fall off the log to odd numbers on the paddle turn. You can choose to keep it on the even numbers of your pulse if you want to. So we have jump Charleston into that. So jump Charleston into the fall off the log. Five, six, five, six, seven, eight. One, three, five, and seven. Eight, one, two, three, five, seven. Let's do that whole chorus. So we have Jump Charleston, shim sham break. Jump Charleston, triple steps. 20s Charleston, boogie drop. Jump Charleston, fall off the log. 
It'll be perfect the first try, right? Here we go. Five, six, five, six, seven, eight. One, three, five, and seven, eight. One, two, three, and a five, six, seven, eight. One, three, five, and seven. Triple step, step, triple step, 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 step. And twenties. Three, five, seven. Touch, touch. Boogie drop and jump. Three, five, and seven. Fall off the paddle, paddle, paddle. Cool. Take a moment. You're like, where did I miss the transition? Cool. That's the one I'm gonna remember this time, even if I miss everything else. Get the one you missed last time. Starting from that chorus again. Five, six, five, six, seven, eight. One, three, five, and seven. Eight. One, two, three, and a five, six, seven, eight. One, three, five, and seven. Triple step, step, triple step, step, step. Twenties. One, three, five, seven. Touch, touch. Boogie drop and one, three, five, and seven. Fall off the paddle, paddle, paddle. All right. That's probably perfect so far. So the transitions to remember, we have our uh, swing Charleston chorus, right? And then we have our bridge, which is the corkscrew kickball change part. After that, we have our little scoots, but that kick step that whoops us around goes right into that first jump Charleston. And then we have our jump Charleston chorus. So let's do all of that with music, and then we'll uh, take notes and, and then see if we can polish a couple spots. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And in case you don't have the full track, you can tell it gets weird there. It gets awesome, and then it totally changes flavors again and gets this really cool clarinet drum duet thing. So go buy Jen's music. Um, cool, we're gonna try that again with music. If you have questions, write them up while you're breathing here, taking a moment. Remember, this is at 10% slower than normal speed. So if you do get the song and you want to practice this a little bit slower, you'll need to grab some software that can do that for you. Um, if you get to, Virtual DJ, all one word. There's a PC and Mac version, and it'll do it for you for free. Uh, the Amazing Slow Downer is an app that you can use to slow down uh, tracks as well. Um, and both of those have a function for not bending the pitch when you slow the song down. So that's nice. Otherwise, you end up dancing to a bass Gen Hodge, which is intriguing, but not necessarily gooder. <laughs> um, so let's try it again from the top. And uh, again, if you have questions, I will check on them after this run through. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Awesome, cool. So that is, uh, that's the routine for today. Um, my little walk off that we do at the end there is totally optional. Um, in my mind, that's where one group of dancers or one dancer 
finishes their bit, and as the music changes, someone else comes in and bumps them off the stage with a different feeling. Create your own adventures there. Um, this is, that's only about a minute of a, a four minute song, so there's lots more goodies in there. Do check out the whole, the whole thing. There is a link to go buy it down in the uh, comments here, or then the information, whatever you call that section. Um, if you didn't catch it before, uh, a really cool thing just happened on um, called Move On. If you jump over to Facebook and look for that in your swing dance groups, it's been shared to all of the groups um, as it should be. And uh, you can go watch that. It's about two hours, two hours and a half of uh, some really cool discussion on where we are as a swing dance scene doing a black dance primarily with white people doing it right now and kind of where we can go from there. Um, and it's really interesting, A, just to see where um, folks are in the scene right now and what the, what the mood is and what, what the things are that are going on that you may not hear about as a casual dancer, um, but also to be thinking about what you can do to help the, the scene grow and move in a way that is healthy and, uh, and not excluding the folks that we took the dance from uh, and the music as well. Uh, if you have questions about that, hit me up anytime. I'm happy to chat about it. Um, as usual, if you'd like to support us, you can go down to syncopationfoundation.org slash donate or join us at the Patreon. Um, we're doing some technique classes midweek for Patreon subscribers of $15 or more. That it's just me breaking down something that's on my mind. We did some music theory two weeks ago and how to use that in your dancing. Uh, this most recent one was about foot articulation. Uh, the first one was an, an homage to uh, that guy, Al Min's up there, um, and how he does his Charleston. Or, um, so we, it's kind of a grab bag of technique on how to do this. So less choreo, more stuff. <laughs> Laura, my brain slowed down at all of it, so I understand. Um, <laughs> the uh, There's a lot, that last part is particularly dense, and so you'll probably need to do some runs on that one a little bit slower speed too. Uh, but cool, thanks everyone for tuning in. Um, we'll be back at the same bat time, same bat channel next week. Um, keep an eye out because there's a couple other things coming up that we're still just looking for scheduling details on. Uh, and otherwise, stay safe, You know, wear your masks and, uh, and take care of each other so that we can get through this and get back to dancing in person as soon as possible.